Hello everyone, Tom here with a new one for you. This is Swords and Sandals Immortals. It is a head-to-head -head combat based game. It's roguelike. It it looks so cool. Also, this music is really, really good. Not gonna lie, this music is fantastic. Um, I don't really have much more to say about it. It's the, the game just looks so cool, I had to try it out. Let's jump in. A quick word from the devs. It's a long letter, it looks like. This kind of looks like it's going through all of the stuff that's going to be coming down the pipeline. This is my first time jumping into Swords and Sandals at all. Um, I know that there's some older games out there. This this has been a, a game that's been around for a long time. This is just the newest newest uh, entry into the into the series. It is the year 640 CM. Four decades have passed since the automatons mysterious robotic aliens of unknown origin left our world now they have returned pr pursued by a devastating enemy known as the starbound gladiator once hailed a hero he departed our world to fight amongst the stars something happened out there in space to turn him the darkness for in just 300 days he will return to tritonia with destruction his only goal only a single gladiator may face him in battle for the fate of the world Quite the story. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's our our character selection. It looks that's kind of funny. Our guy, uh, uh, like, there's a whole look at all the different stuff we can pick from here. So these are the different races. It looks like, and they all have background stories, and they all have different stats. Um, let's just pick one to get this going here. But there are some. Oh man, he's kind of cool looking. Looks like a he looks like a a jelly bean almost. Um. Let's go with the one that looks like me. Yeah, uh, Cycladian or Yat Yat Kick. So we get plus two bonus strength, bonus ten percent hit chance when fighting on beaches. Your damage is increased by twenty percent when fighting at night. Okay, cool. So we're like we're like a nighttime. Uh, we, we like long walks on the beach at night. Uh, five percent uh, penalty to defense while fighting in deserts. Okay, let's let's roll with that. And this we can change it again here if we wanted to. Uh, homeland, we're just gonna leave that hairstyle. You know, I kind of actually dig the fro. I kind of dig it. There's a whole whack of uh, different styles though. The customization is uh, definitely good. How do I back? Do that we can put some facial hair on a lot of different facial hairs we can give them a nice beard. oh boy that looks a little bit better a little bit more clean um a little something on the face blood there maybe that doesn't make sense he's only got one eye where's he bleeding it looks like he's supposed to be bleeding from his eyes but he's only got one eye um dirt on there so he looks a little bit like a little tough guy and off we go to the quarter moon cove i suppose Oh. oh, we can name ourselves. For this, we're just going to leave it. We can also type something in here, it looks like, for our taunt quote. Uh, sub to Tom. Why not? Shameless self-promotion. I cannot be defeated. What a taunt, right? Um, we mess with the height. We make him a giant. Oh, and then, okay, so... Size, size makes a difference here. Size matters. Uh, we get parrying or dodge. I kind of like the idea of having more dodge because, well, I don't really know how the combat's going to work. I think it's all automatic in a way. Like, I don't think I actually have to do parrying. Uh, wait. We're skinny little... Oh. Oh, look at that. Beefy. Movement per turn. You get a lot more health, but we wouldn't move much. Let's go somewhere in the middle-ish. A little bit that way. A little bit more health, a little less movement speed. We can play with our pitch. Yeah, okay. That sounds about me. Let's roll. I just don't want to spend too long on it for uh, a first impressions video for, like, this this part of it. Because this is really cool. This is really in-depth. Um, then we can pick our class. So you have your race that gives you stuff. Um, your area that'll give you stuff your size your body type everything is going to give you different abilities then we have these classes bonus stamina bonus intellect 
Make him a road bonus agility. That doesn't really work well with our guy because we just made him slower. Make him a wizard? That'd be kind of fun. Let's try and make him a wizard. So everything's somewhat balanced. You can see we're getting a little bit of bonus in some areas. Range damage is probably a good thing because I, I feel like if we're casting spells, we'll be from range. But let's just go into the... Let's load up heavily there. It does look like we're doing some melee, though. Maybe we just pick, like, a really odd build. I'm going to go here. And um, maybe there. We're, we're spread out way too thin. Let's see how this goes. Willard's a sound. The tale of Yat Kicks begins. The realm of Brandor has been at peace for some years now. You are from a generation who has known no war or poverty. But the arrival of the automatons, this is, uh, but with the arrival of the automatons, this is all set to change. Up until now, you have enjoyed a relatively humble existence. Nevertheless, your ambitions soar after a wandering sage proclaims you have an unmistakable strength of spirit and you may indeed possess the metal to defeat the starbound gladiator. At the same time, he cautions you get a taste for combat before leaping into a gladiatorial career. Points you to the recruiting town of Willard Sound. Heeding his advice, you arrive in the sleepy hamlet. Some days later, keen to get stuck into the action. Before you can confront any rival gladiators, however, you must confront the reason you embarked on this journey. So what is it that drives you, gladiator? We seek glory and power beyond my wildest dreams. I wish to save our world from unimaginable evil. Not for myself, but for others. No, we are selfish. Uh, most interesting. The world turns and the celestial tapestry continues to weave. Before you left your hometown, the mysterious old man granted you a small gift to start you on your way. What did you use for your reward? Definitely not a health potion. Ooh, five of them, though. I'm going to say... I'm going to put some value on the stars. I feel like that's going to be more valuable. Okay, so now we can go in. Uh, looks like we go to encamp down here. This just gives a little bit of a breakdown of what Willard Sound is. All right, 300 days until arrival. Hail, citizen of Brandor. I am Fight Selector, 386DX of the Automatons. We know you have traveled a long way to be here. We are honored that you wish to volunteer to defend your world from the great or from the threat of a starbound gladiator. Know that you are but one of many who consider themselves worthy of such a task, and yet only one shall be selected as the great sentinel. When the starbound gladiator arrives, the great sentinel will step forward to challenge him. One battle to decide the fate of this world, but that is for another day for now. You must face your first opponent, defeat him in battle, and take the first step step in a journey that may take you to the very stars above. We will be watching closely, always. I love this music. Okay, right, so we're Yacht Kicks. Just... <laughs> you can do this, Brucey Bruce, 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 Bruce the Useless. The Guntarian Rogue. And we got the tail of the tape here. I'm a 98 and he's a 53. This is kind of neat. Okay. I don't have any skills though. He's dual wielding. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Roll nine or higher to attack first. Okay, so here's a little bit of RNG. Gun eight. So he goes first. He parried. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to control the parrying. Info panel. Oh, this is... Hide helmet. Oh, okay, you can kind of, like, hide some stuff. Got it. Okay. There's our stats. If we go over our name... Levels. There's some armor, it looks like. Health, and this has got... That's our energy. And then we have our abilities. Arcane Blast. Try this. That'll do. We just blew him on his butt. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> He didn't see that coming. One hit. I mean, we were a level 98 or something like that, and he was a 53. You have defeated your first opponent. Congratulations. It is an incontrovertible. 
I suck at these words. Fact that your enemy was inferior and had no business being here today. I mean, he was brusely useless. But as the great philosopher Mr. Muji once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Rest now and meditate on what you have learned. Campfire. All right, we go to the campfire. In level up, that's all we have. Okay. We can rest and level up at the campfire. You grow more powerful. Um, I do think, like, if we can't use our spells often, we're going to need something else. To go, like, other than just spell damage. Um, I still can't get over this music. It's so good. <laughs> makes me makes me want to maybe pick up no i don't want to lift weights forget that no take that back <laughs> uh hit chance and melee let's do that okay uh great power flows through you select one of the talent trees we're gonna go arcane obviously right we're, we're a mage after all uh sorceress blood sorcerer's blood cryomancer innate sorcery pyromancer Pyromancer? Damage done by your first attack or by your fire attacks is increased. Let's do it. We'll be a Pyromancer. You have to get eight, it looks like, in here to unlock the next slot. Big snore. 299. You got quite the journey. I like that it's a journey. Uh, hail, friend. Stop a moment. Let me look upon you. It is there. I see brilliance, raw power, unlimited potential. You could be the one, the one who saves us all, but not with that weapon. That blade is not fit but through stale bread. You are blessed that our paths should cut across. I am Guillaume de Langeville, son of the greatest weaponsmith that this world has ever known. Before he passed into Soul's domain, my late father, Louis, taught me everything he knew about weapons. I will arm you. I will make you the weapon that will slay the starbound glad. All I ask is that you allow my humble caravan to travel with you, for where you go, the world will follow. Spend your gold with me, and we will save this world together. We have a weaponsmith. Let's have a look. It gladdens the soul to see such a magnificent gladiator before me. Goodbye. All right. Level 2 sword, so, um, that's all he's got, right? What are we, we're using a level 1 shank. We'll buy the sword, we have, a num we have the monies. Fine choice. Alright, we don't have any more money. We'll back out, and we'll go and fight. Enter code. Huh, that's interesting. Oh. We can go here again. Um, it probably skips a day or something. We'll go to the fight selector, though. Today's fight's at Willard Sound. Win four more battles to challenge the regional champion. Okay, we are at level 126, and so is this guy. That feels like the orange milkweed. <laughs> That's who we're fighting. Ready. All right, we've got the damage. Uh, we've got the damage for sure. To fight. Come on. Oh, we get first attack. Um, I think we just go straight in like this with the arcane blast. I mean, it, it, no, it's a ranged attack, right? That doesn't make any sense. Sorcerers, energy bolts that do 30 range damage. Yeah, no, well, let's do close. Let's just do a quick attack. Get after him early. Be parried. Oh, we have no energy. Look at that energy bar. Ooh, that's bad. We literally have to... And he How do I not have any energy? We're, we're in trouble. Our breastplate's broken. Can't use anything. We have to rest again. Oh, this is bad. We'll hit him with the blast. Nailed him. He's resting now. <laughs> so am I. 
He jumped away. That's that's actually perfect for me because I need more rest. Yeah, step up. Um, hmm. I can't do that. If I walk. What do we want to do here? I didn't know I was so low on energy. I'm one turn away from you know what? Back walk backward. I don't have the energy to do it. Cannot use. I don't have enough essence. I need 20 essence. Where am I gonna get more essence from? Don't hit me, please. I think we just use it. Point blank. Got him. Okay, we won. Are you not entertained? We cannot lose. We got some money. We got leveled up. Another level. Get stronger. Alright, where's the... We're gonna have to put some stuff into essence regen and total essence. Stamina. Like, 100%. We're, we're going into stamina there. That was bad. Um, we're into the arcane. So we have to learn a fire attack to really make this work for us. Who are you? Good morning, I'm the training dummy. I've been assigned to help you become a better gladiator. You can find me milling about here. Anytime you wish to learn some new skills or practice your fighting techniques, I'm your, I'm your um, sentient wooden battle dummy. <laughs> nice. Let's see what he does. You wish to learn new skills? Oh, you can learn after this is where we learn the skills. We can do training. I don't know what that is. We'll learn skill. This is where we spend this stuff. The stars that we got. Firebolt. There we go. Orbs of fire that cause 36 damage. Buy it. Okay, we put it on our wheel. Oh, should we, maybe we'll put yield fight on. In case we're getting our butt kicked and no. We can wave the white flag. Um, we won't be able to afford anything else, so let's exit. Back to camp. That was good. Okay. Um, I'm going to save my money, and I think we're just going to go into another fight here. It doesn't look like I've got any more essence than I did before. We need another combat. Right back into it. Do I think... You know what? I think I'm good enough to... Whoa. No, I don't want to fight you. I want to fight you. Ginfia Wrath. We're at the same level, 154s, right? Hey! Where you have the intellect? Probably, does that make you a mage? I feel like getting first attack is huge. Like, okay. Nice parry. Oh, we do have a little bit more. We've got 30 uh, energy now. With a firebolt. Resisted. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, walk back. This is bad. We're gonna have to rest. Oh, we get we get more now when we rest. Oh, we're so dead. Um He's resting? I'm resting. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, she she resisted that blast. She resists them all. I'm afraid that she might. I think we've I think we've lost this fight. Parried it. We parried her. Rest. Death. We're not dead yet. Oh boy. Go for the big one. We hit it. Oh, there's so you're saying there's a chance. We hit the fireball, we win. Let's go. You are victorious. I thought for sure we were done there. So we didn't get a level. Um We could do more train. What is this? Oh, it's a it's a feature that's not in the game yet. It is early access, so. Um, is there anything here that we want? Gaseous wind, pass deadly gas in the direction of your enemy for ten necrotic damage. That sounds like it was made for me. Necrotic damage. Alright, let's go. Back to the camp. 
I guess we go right back into the battle. Fight selector. We don't have new guys here. We go a step up. I think we do. We go against Keg Keg Boog. Take take on Keg Boog. I like that it's not long between fights. Like it really is quick. The Yaren Knight. And if you're into lore, this game's got like every everything's got lore into it. Damn it. Oof. Um. Hmm. Pass some wind. Got him with the necrotic damage. <laughs> we literally just fired it on him. Oh, he just poked me in the face. Um. Quick attack. You don't have any energy, right? Good. I also have no energy. Bad. We, uh, medium attack. You need to parry something here. This is bad. We're, <laughs> it's like two heavyweight fighters. And we're, we're just taking deep, deep breaths between each attack. He's got so much more health. Firebolt. There goes. Oh, he had to back off. What's this? He's getting burnt. I think we. Uh, I think we just poke him. Buried it. No. Getting burnt. He's got. He's regenning health. Oh no. Did he yield? I think he yielded. We beat a guy that was 30 levels above us. Let's go. All right, now where are we going to go? I still feel like I need more essence. I don't know how much essence I need, though. Um, no. Go all in on the... On, we're going magic. And arcane again. Actually, what, wait a second. What's what's survival? Defensive techniques. Increase your parrying ability. Cross protection. Okay. So that's going to be useful for us. Probably the arcane mixed with the uh, survival. Eight sorcery. Increase your maximum. Oh, right here. Increase your maximum essence. Gold. There you are, my brilliant gladiator. Gladiator. You out there whirling and spinning like an angel of blades, and yet, what if you get hit? These rags you wear are not worthy of such virtuoso. They could be the death of you. It is of the very highest priority that we keep you alive, and I know just the man to help. Thargan the Armorer. For since the glory days of Dune Trek, he's grown accustomed to the idle life of a fisherman. I think it's time we convince him to come out of retirement. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna recruit an armor. There, there he is. That whelp Guillaume called me a a layabout, did he? Outrageous. He has the sharp tongue of his father with none of his father's skill. Sharp blades. Who is he to jibe at my pastime? The man not entitled to fish in peace. And you are, are yet to impress me either. Back in the days of Antares, versus his name, <laughs> gladiators would drop like flies in the arena and they had ten times your skill. A rumph. You are definitely going to need the help of Thargan. All right, I'll do it as a debt of honor to Guillaume's father. He was a good friend. I'll fire up the forge one last time and travel these old roads with you for a while. After all, someone has to keep an eye on you. Daydreamers, har har. <laughs> this game is fun. Oh man, the, did I mention the music? That music is really, uh, really fun. I like it. Let's go see what the armor's got. The forge is hot. All right, so we're walking around with no armor. I'm assuming we are level four. So let's just invest in some good level four armor. Yeah, it's like I think I think it would say that we had it equipped. We got little tiny arm pieces. Um, 
Let's go with... Ooh. What is this? The noob buckler. Buy it. Not enough... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't have enough for that either. We have enough to put a hat on our guy. Wait. Did I not put it on? I feel like I should have put that on. Um, boot. I didn't buy boots, did I? No. Where's my hat? Didn't I? Oh, maybe it wasn't a hat. Maybe it was an armband. All right, let's back out. All right, so we've got armor now. We've got armor. We bought a weapon. We've got a new set of guys to fight. Um, I think we're going to go in... You know what? Let's go for the big one. For the level 5 knight. This guy's only a level 2 warrior, so uh, you're going to get more XP if you fight higher level guys, I'm assuming. The human knight. Alrighty. Fifteen, we get first go. Alright. Do we pass gas? Um I think so. We broke his boot with our fart. <laughs> oh man. Look at his energy. We got six on stamina. He must I don't know. I don't know what he's got going on, but he's he's got some stamina. We got stamina issues. Um we're literally stuck. Have a, we'll have a snooze. He just hit me in the shoe. Quick attack? Yep, breastplate damage. I think this guy might beat me. He's got too much energy. My pants are broken. Oh no. We do have the range. Arcane Blast. Carried it. Oh boy. He's got magic too? Oh, I did not I did not expect that. Okay, well, that's our first loss. I I wasn't uh, expecting the, the magic to come. <laughs> Your day ends in defeat. You retire to the campfire. So it's not game over when you lose. I like that. A lot of games are just like... A lot of roguelikes these days are just quickly over. This is going to be a journey, right? It's going to be a full-on journey that you can go on. So we didn't lose anything. We, well, we lost money. We didn't gain anything, I should say. We go right back in. We'll get we'll get our redemption fight. We're gonna go and fight this little level two because we're we're feeling sorry for ourselves. Hey! Let's get after it. Twenty. Oh, we get stars for that too. It's popped up and said I got plus two stars. Um. Can't help but feel like I'm like actually at a disadvantage based on his health, but I have 62 armor and he has none. I love starting a fight like that. How oh, I would probably start a fight in real life. In the boot. So this doesn't. Oh, we hit him with a heart attack. Oh, that that's gotta hurt. We'll have a little rest. He's going to rest as well. Use skill. Hit him with a firebolt. Boom. Over. Are you not entertained? Easy win. I'm going to do one more fight here. Okay, so after... Right, after a certain amount of fights, I think it was five, you're allowed to fight the regional champion, whose power score is 311. For the sake of seeing just how underpowered I am, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> a local entertainer who boasts of being the largest man in Brandor, despite his diminutive stature. Got small man uh, syndrome? <laughs> Little dude. Huge Charles. <laughs> Champion of Willard Sound. Huge Charles. Look at that ass. Or that, that Warhammer. Love it. He's a human bard. Charisma 14. 
Thou art stinky. We need this. We did not get it. He might one-shot me. He resisted it? Okay, um... Going for the fences. We hit him in the breastplate, and it's gone. Just like that. He doesn't have a ton of energy. He just burped, and it broke my arm. <laughs> Alright, that's not a good percentage chance, right? I think that's what that means. Like a chance of hitting. You know what? <laughs> I'm soaking wet. What? <laughs> He's soaking wet. Alright, so we got our butts kicked by him, but we did some damage. We broke his armor. Um, I'm very underpowered to be fighting him right now, though. So, we, we lost again. But it doesn't matter, really. It was a good test of strength right all right i'm gonna end it here that was my first impression video swords and sandals immortals let me know what you think in the comments i think this game is really neat um very different but very very cool if you want to see more of it make sure to subscribe to the channel because i could see myself playing a ton of this and just doing like full playthroughs lots of episodes kind of thing very it, it, it lends itself to that type of video very or vi that type of series uh, quite well Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.